Good day, Math Giggling students. I am here, Teacher Job, and I will be going to discuss a lesson from Mathematics Grade 7, Quarter 3, Module 2, which is Kinds of Angle Pairs. In this video, I will identify and define the different kinds of angle pairs, such as complementary angles, supplementary angles, congruent angles, vertical angles, adjacent angles, and lastly, the linear pairs. So first, let's start with complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. So consider this figure. We have angle LOB, we have angle LOB, and angle VOE. We can say that these two angles are complementary angles if the sum of their measures is equal to 90 degrees. So suppose measure angle LOV is equal to 51 degrees and measure angle VOE is equal to 39 degrees. The sum of their measures must be equal to 90 degrees so that we can say that they are, so they are complementary angles rather. So 51 degrees plus 39 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle LOB and angle VOE are complementary angles. Next, another example, we have angle HIS and angle HER. Okay, so we, I can say or we can say that these two angles are complementary angles if the sum of their angle measures is equal to 90 degrees. So we have measure angle HIS which is 28 degrees and measure angle HER is 62 degrees. So we can use this working equation measure angle HIS plus measure angle HER is equal to 90 degrees, 28 degrees plus 62 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, we can say that HIS and HER are complementary angles. So next, we have supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. So we have here this figure, we have angle ATM and, and angle MTH. Okay, the sum of measure angle ATM and measure angle MTH must be equal to 180 degrees so that we can say it is a supplementary angle. So we have measure angle ATM is equal to 44 degrees. Measure angle MPH is equal to 136 degrees. So using our working equation, 144 degrees plus 136 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle ATM and angle MPH are supplementary angles. Next, we have another example for supplementary angles. We have angle MAN and angle HOT. The measure of angle MAN is equal to 36 degrees and angle HO, measure angle HOT is equal to 144 degrees. So that we can say angle MAN and angle HOT are supplementary angles, the sum of their angle measures must be equal to 180 degrees. So let's check. So since 36 degrees plus 144 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, therefore angle MAN and angle HOT are supplementary angles. So let's, next is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two distinct angles with common vertex and a common side but no interior points in common. So we have here this figure. Okay, so we have two angles. We have measure angle 2 and angle 1 or angle ATM and angle MTH. Okay, so these two angles 
shared a common vertex. So here is the common vertex. And the common side, which is ray TM, but no interior points in common. Measure angle 1 and measure angle 2 do not intersect. Therefore, we can say that angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Next, we have linear pair. Linear pair is composed of two adjacent angles whose measures have the sum of 180 degrees. So, the difference between linear pair and supplementary angles, in linear pair, the two angles must be adjacent and supplementary. So, we have here this figure. Okay, so as you can see, we have two angles, A, I, P, and P, I, R. So, these two angles share the common vertex and a common side, which is I, P, and the common vertex is at point I. So, the first definition of linear pair is it is composed of two adjacent angles. So, we now have two adjacent angles. Next is the measure of the measures must have the sum of 180 degrees. So suppose IAP is equal to 150 degrees and PIR is equal to 30 degrees. So it must be 180 degrees. 150 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle IIP, AIP rather, and angle PIR are what we call a linear pair. So the two angles A, I, P, and P, I, R is what we call a angle pair. Next, we have congruent angles. Congruent angles are angles with the same measure. Suppose we have angle A, B, C, and angle R, A, T, which measures 80 degrees. So since the two angles have the same measures, we can say that angle A, B, C, is congruent to angle RAP. Next, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Vertical angles are congruent. So, in we have here this figure. The two non-adjacent angles are, we have ARO and PRT and angle ORT and angle ARP. So these two pairs are non adjacent angles. So first we have angle ARO and angle PRT, and angle ORT and angle ARP. So angle ARO and angle PRT is what we call a vertical angles. And angle ORT and angle ARP is what we call vertical angles too. So, um, using the definition, we can say um, that, that these two angles are, these two pairs of angles are non-adjacent angles. And vertical angles are congruent. So, we can say that angle ARO is congruent to angle PRT. And angle ORT is congruent to angle ARP. Next, we have this activity. We need to complete the table. So, we need to find for the complement. In number one, we need to find for the complement of angle one. So, when we say complementary angles, the sum of the measures is equal to 90 degrees. So, how to find for angle 2? We need to subtract 43 from 90 degrees. So, 90 minus 43 degrees, we have 47 degrees. For number 2, we need to find for the complement of angle 2. So, 90 minus 56 degrees, we have 34 degrees. For number 3, we need to find for the 
complement of angle 2, 87, 90 minus 87 degrees is equal to 3 degrees. For supplementary, number 4, we need to find for the supplement of angle 1. So the supplement of angle 1 is equal to um, 68 degrees. For number 5, 180 minus 75 is equal to 105 degrees. For number 6, 180 minus 29 degrees is equal to 151 degrees. Next, name the relationship of angle 1 and angle 2 using by answering linear pair, adjacent angles, supplementary angles, complementary angles, congruent angles, or adjacent angles. So first we have this. It's very good. It is a linear pair. This one. Very good. It is a complementary angle. Next we have... It is a vertical angles. Next, adjacent angles. So, I hope you can now answer your quarter 3, module 2 for mathematics grade 7. Enjoy and have fun. Thank you.